Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Pokemon Heart Gold on Nintendo DS. Last time, we took part in the bug catching contest in the National Park. We caught ourselves a Butterfree, and we didn't even get third place because apparently we're just not that great. I do like the little icon there, though. That's nice. And. Ah, there's that lady that I was looking for. Yes. Pay attention, please. Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want it. I want you to have this. And we got a quick claw. Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping from you. I'm gonna Pokemon hold that quick claw. Sometimes it will strike first during battle. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm not sure who I'm gonna give it to, but it's really nice. Uh, but yeah, we did the bug catching contest. Didn't catch what I was hoping for, but oh well, we'll survive. Um, you know what? We'll have we'll we'll let Lambert stick out for a little while here. By the way, that Butterfree that I caught was actually not too shabby. It had a modest nature, which is great for a Butterfree since, you know, a Butterfree shouldn't be using physical attacks that much. So, yeah. My mom can't take my Pokemon and tells me not to play with it indoors. But hey, I can keep it in my Pokewalker. That way I'm always with it. Oh yeah, this, this game came with a thing called a Pokewalker, which is kind of like a Tamagotchi, kind of. And you could catch Pokemon in there and transfer them to the game. And you can take a Pokemon with you when you went like walking somewhere in real life and they get experience, stuff like that. It's fun having a Pokemon out of his Pokeball to walk with it, but the Pokewalker is a whole new dimension. I mean, it's okay. Hello, just what do you uh, No, go away. I don't want any pictures. Sorry, dude. I take walks in the park, but I never go into the grass. Traders always want to battle. Yes, they do. They're little rat bastards like that. Okay, there's no items for us to get since we've already uh, got the couple that we can get right now. So let's just go ahead and go for some of the battles. Uh, sadly, we're not going to be able to find that Venonat here, so oh well. So we're just going to ignore the vast majority of the wild encounters here. But the battles are good for experience, so we're going to do those. My Pokemon is simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my, my darling makes me. Okay. I'm happy to show you how proud my darling Lambert makes me. Beverly. He got a snuggle. Oh, that reminds me. We gotta go talk to that uh, lady that said we could handle the power of a watering can once we beat uh, Whitney. Yeah, we gotta go do that real fast. But in the meantime, Thundershock, Mr. Snuggle to death here. Oh yes, Nubble actually does have a pretty decent attack, so uh, that bite that he has will actually do pretty good. And when he evolves, he has a really nice attack, so when he gets the advanced form of bite, Crunch, yeah, that'll do plenty of damage. I can beat you in pride, but... Well, your Pokemon is so cute and adorable. You love Pokemon just like I do. Want to trade phone numbers? Let's chat, it'll be so much fun. I think this lady will occasionally call and give you a nugget. Which is really nice. To be honest, I want a mural. What I make do with my cute Snubble? Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Snubble. You're the cutest Pokemon ever, really. Uh, I'm sorry. Lambert is right here. Only one Pokemon can stroll with you in a Pokewalker. I can't decide which one. Yeah, you can only take so many Pokemon with you on the Pokewalker thing. Uh, but again, it's not something that I can even do at the moment. Since, oh well. The world is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know, but I know more than you do. Is that a challenge? School kid! I mean, you can't even figure out how to keep your supplies in your backpack, kid. So, yeah. Headbutt you to death. This might paralyze me or something, but oh well. Um, see if Thundershock will be enough to finish you off in a moment. Potentially. No, not quite. Okay. But this way, I don't have to worry about getting hit by it with its uh, effect spore and possibly getting poisoned, paralyzed, or put to sleep. So. This is fine. Voltorb! Uh, no, we'll keep battling. 
The worst thing that's going to happen here is Lambert will get paralyzed from static, or, you know, Voltorb can just miss his sonic boom, which is fine. Roll out. This is what Whitney's milk tank, or mill tank, should have used on us, but it didn't for some reason. And honestly, I'm glad, because if she gets that thing going, oh, it's real painful. Really painful. Thank you for that nice special attack boost. What? what? Uh, I'm sorry, kid. You, you know more than me? Say it to my face. Your knowledge is impressive. I like that. Want to trade battle tips? I'll phone if I can get info. Will you tell me your number? Sure. Why not? By the way, I think I'm going to delete Joey's fo phone number because he keeps telling me how great his Rattata is. Okay, is there anything? No, nothing over here. Try to see how many trainers there actually are here. There might not even be that many. Okay, so there's you. Then there's you, and... I'm kind of surprised they don't have a third one over here to round out the set. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I've been running. I try and charge the new Pokey Walker. I mean, I don't think you charge it by running, but oh well. I may not look it, but I have many Pokey Walkers on me. They make loud noises as I walk. Maybe taking a stroll isn't as easy as I thought. Well, whatever works for you, lady. What is this notice? No ball playing allowed other than Pokeballs. Oh, it's... Oh, I think it means, like, don't play with, like, basketballs or something like that. Oh, and apparently this is, um, tall grass, which means we cannot use our bike in it. So, that's good to know. Hello? Why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? Okay, at least this lass isn't as crazy as the lasses from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Fire Red and Leaf Green. Where I was looking the opposite direction, six feet away, they come up to me and say, Eek! You touched me. Those crazy bitches. They were just trying to start a lawsuit or something. I don't know. I, don't know. I just work here. Meanwhile, we are just going to work over this Oddish. So, goodbye. Honestly, Batty would have been fine here since everything here appears to be of the grass type. Oh well. I'm noticing that's a pattern at the moment. Despite the fact that we have Pokemon that do have moves that are going to be good against the... Uh, we'll keep going. Hopefully it doesn't have any ground type moves. Despite, yeah, despite the fact that we should have Pokemon with good move types against the gym leaders. We don't seem to learn those moves until after we finish fighting the gym leader. So, oh well. And you're not taking very much damage from Headbutt. So, we're going to go ahead and Water Gun you to death, sir. Ooh, and Steve. Oh yeah, perfect. That's actually great that he uh, switched out because Bone Club would have done significant amounts of damage to poor Flaffy. And let's just bite you to death. Goodbye, Cubone. Level 20. At level 21, I think he gets a really good move, and that'll be fantastic. But that's still one level away, sadly. Hmm... Sorry there, Lassie. Laddie. You, you think I'm cool, right? How about we change phone numbers? Uh, sure, just don't try to accuse me of doing anything weird like your... Like your Kanto cousins. Don't worry, you can call me anytime. Uh, no, I'm good. I mean, not really into calling people half my age. I mean, I don't really call anybody at all. In real life. I just don't have anything to say. So, yeah. Uh, you know what? No, we don't need to waste the super potion on you. We can just go ahead and give you a... regular potion. Perfect. Hello, sir. We adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike, even if they dislike us. That's what being a Pokefan is all about. Uh, if your Pokemon dislike you, then you're doing something wrong. 
I mean, all you gotta do is walk with the dude, and they should like you very much. Right you? Ooh, nice. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a thunder wave to start off, just to paralyze it so it doesn't have anything to use against us speed-wise. Despite the fact that we're probably going to end up getting um, paralyzed by its static, since we're just going to be headbutting it. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yes. This actually worked out perfect. Goodbye, Raichu. That was perfect. And a nice struggle experience. It should be this level 20. Yes. Perfect. And you want to learn the move Cotton Spore. Uh, that's actually not a bad move for Lambert since it lowers the opponent's speed by two levels. So it's not too shabby. We'll get rid of Growl for it since I never use it. And yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'll actually bother to use Cotton Spore either. But the fact that it's there is nice. But my, my Pokemon. Thank you for the money. I do appreciate that. I lost the battle, but my Pokemon win the prize for being the most lovely. Didn't you just say you didn't care what your Pokemon thought about you and you're just kind of like mean and rude and crude and all sorts of other stuff? And I want to check something on the Poke Gear here. Let's see, the map is going to say we are... Okay, so this is still Route 36 if we... Uh... Okay, yeah, so leave, leaving the park here is still going to put us on Route 36 where we were planning on going to anyways, so... Okay, cool. But first, let's head back to... Let's head back to town and... get that uh, watering can from... the lady at the flower shop, and that'll be nice for us. And, by the way, should we switch any Pokemon here? Uh, I think... Hercules, you're gonna be fine for a little while. Uh, I'm just going to let you chill for a little bit. I think Lambert might just be in charge for a little while here, because I'm going to want Batty to just have a couple levels to himself when he's about to evolve into his next form here. Again, I think it's a level 22. So yeah, let's just let, Flap, uh, let's just let Lambert have the time in the sun for the moment. That is one of the downsides about Pokemon that don't evolve is, well, they don't evolve, so they're in one form forever. I mean, luckily, Heracross is excellent, as we've seen from his constant plus three stat gains on his attack, so we're not terribly concerned about it too much. But it just means he's not going to look any cooler than he already is. I mean, don't get me wrong there, Herc. You already look pretty awesome, but... It'd be nice. It, a lot of people thought that uh, Heracross was an evolution to Pinsir when he was first introduced, and it makes sense, actually. But, nope. He has the same base stat totals, and he's not any evolution of, of any kind, so... Oh, well. And I need to get back there to that damn watering can that I keep forgetting about, so... We're going to ignore this thing here. Ebra! I just realized we have Pokeballs at Kurtz that we could be picking up, but... Eh, we'll get around to those eventually. A lot of the stuff that we could be doing, like going back for the Pokeballs and... Uh, rematches and stuff, I'll probably start doing once we get the, uh, the ability to fly, and it just makes it easier to get back to places instead of running back to them. Because for the moment, it is just a tad inconvenient, so... Oh well. Apparently... Okay, blah blah blah. That's a plane badge from Goldenrod Gym. Did you defeat Whitney? Well, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use a squirt bottle for a while, then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. Ooh, we got a squirt bottle. It's not a, uh... Water bottle. I th actually, I think it is a watering can. It's just shaped like a squirtle. And that's why it's called a squirt bottle. Yep. 
It's a cute little squirtle watering can. There you go. A uh, bottle used for watering plants in the berry pots. Uh, I haven't seen any berry pots, so... Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, we haven't seen any berry bushes. Oh, well. Anyways, enough putzing around here. Let's head back out to Route 36, where we got stuff to do. Uh, primarily in the way of trainers. And a couple new Pokemon. And this guy's gonna get in the way. Hello, Nidoran, that I don't really need. I mean, you're cool, but I just don't need you. Sorry, bud. Alright, Route 36. Let's go. Alright, we're on Route 36. And let's see. I think, yeah, I think that's the bug catching or the national park right there. How you doing, kid? Let me guess what you're thinking. Oh, you must be a psychic trainer. Yeah, he kind of looks like it too, because a lot of psychic trainers have black hair. Yeah, and then the purple outfit. Psychic Mark. So yeah, they're pretty easy to tell which, um, which, when they're psychic types, pretty much. Oh, and you actually have something that's not just pure teleport, huh? Okay. And you're gonna screw with my accuracy, you bastard. Is that all you're going to do is screw with my accuracy? There you go. Once we get a attack off him, we should be able to kill him in one hit, since Abra's defenses are not great. Okay, you're about to send in Kadabra. Uh, let's switch over to Batty here. Because I don't want to have to deal with not being able to actually hit the dang guy. And Batty will be more than happy to just bite this guy into death. Ooh, confusion. That might not be good for Batty. Woo! Okay. That didn't work out as good as I thought. I kind of forgot that Batty was of the poison variety. I'm, I'm sorry, Bat. But there we go. Okay, uh, I'll keep battling. I don't think this Abra is going to have anything to actually attack us with. So we should be safe with... Fighting it. That confusion. Ooh, that almost got me right there. That hurt. Hurt my pride, too. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, you were, but you're very powerful, so. I accept your. your stuff. If you reach your opponent's mind, then you can attack more efficiently. Uh, your idea of attacking efficiently just involved spamming my accuracy down into the oblivion there. And, well. It worked out pretty well, I'm not going to lie. The same kind of Pokemon may look the same, but they can grow differently. Yes, they can. The strengths may look the same in the beginning, but those strengths can change as they grow. Yep, that's just saying like natures and other junk like that, which I particularly care about. Some people, they don't actually care about it, and that's fine. I do for whatever reason. No, not you. I need it on... Um I need it on Betty here. There we go. Okay, let's continue on here and talk to this guy. And while we're talking to this guy, let's talk about the Pokemon that we can catch here. Uh, first off, if you're playing Heart Gold, you can get a... Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh... Tingula, how you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, if you're playing Heart Gold, you can get access to Growlithe. Yeah. So, Growlithe is here. Uh, he can be up to, I want to say level 15. Yeah, it looks like level 15 is the maximum. Especially, well, that's during the daytime. Apparently during the morning, he's lower level. and the night, he's lower level for some reason. But yeah, Growlithe is still a good uh, attacker of pretty much whatever you want it to do. And, yeah, if you want it to focus on being a higher physical attacker, because you can give it, like, Fire Fang or something like that, go for it. Uh, if you want it to specialize in being 
a special attacker because it gets a lot of good special moves, go for it. Either way, it's great. Uh, then you also have access to Vulpix if you're playing Soul Silver. So again, still not quite as good as Ninetales, but it's good enough. It'll get the job done. And then for both games, you have access to a new normal type in the form of Stantler, which is reasonably decent. It's got decent uh, attack and speed, and then average defenses, and it learns some pretty neat moves like uh, Hypnosis, and I think, it, I think it can learn a couple of psychic moves and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not the best normal type, but it's definitely decent, that's for sure. Plus, this is a really cool looking deer. Actually, I think it's more like a... It looks more like a reindeer to me, but... Either way, it's not bad. And, Tangela, you actually did a pretty dang good job. Simply for the fact that I didn't have a move for you. Huh? Was my prediction incorrect? I know, your prediction was actually pretty good, kid. You did, you did okay. When I'm reading textbooks and walking, I have to look down so I notice items on the ground. Next time I find something, I'll give it to you. May I have your phone? Yes, you can. But yeah, Stantler is not too shabby uh, for just a basic normal type. I'll call you as soon as I find something. You can count on it. Yeah, he learns stuff like, let's see, Stomp, Confuse Ray, Calm Mind, or is it Special Attack, Special Defense, um, Role Play, which copies the foe's ability, uh, Zen Headbutt, Imprison, so, so any moves that you know the foe can't know, Hypnosis, Captivate, which lowers the special attack. So it has a lot of annoying type moves like that. But then, it, but then again, it also has 95 attack, 85 special attack and speed, and then its defenses actually aren't that great. 73 HP and 65 defenses. So, but it learns a fair amount of TMs for you to put to use. So if you're looking for a normal type that's not going to really stand out, but will do the job. Yeah, Stantler is not too shabby. It'd be nice if it got a evolution, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on then. Oh yeah, other Pokemon you can find on the route are the Nidoran family, and then Pidgey and Hootoot, depending on the time of the day. So there we go. Um, and for headbutting, it's Execute, uh, Hoot Hoot, Pineco, and then either Spinarak or Ladybug. So, uh, Anthony, what do you want? So, this is Anthony, how are you? The other day I was watching Mama Choppy some berries. It looked like it was enjoying this meal, so I decided to try some. I'm not sure if people should eat that stuff, but it was delicious. Alright, bye. Uh, you have a good day then buddy. I'm the flower shop for you. Listen, listen, when I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you soaked it... Oh, that's a squirt bottle. Soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. Oh, I think this is, um... Yeah, this is... Hang on a second. I was saying if we were going to go to Violet City. We've already been to Violet City, haven't we? Yeah, Violet City is... Yeah, Sprout Tower. Okay. So this is that uh, tree that we saw a long time ago that we couldn't do anything with. Let's see. Lambert, you're doing okay. But I'm going to go ahead and give you another potion here. There we go. There's an odd tree. Use a squirt bottle? Yes. The odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The odd tree attacked. Yes, we're getting attacked by uh, foliage now. Except this foliage is a rock type Pokemon called Pseudo Wudo. And he's actually not too shabby for just a pure rock type. And I think he was one of the first pure rock types. Uh, he's very slow. Uh, with 30 speed, but his attack is 100, his defense is 115, so really nice. 
special defense 65, so it can't really take much in the way of like the water and grass type moves this week too. It's 70 HP, but it also has a pretty good move set uh, level up in this game at least. Uh, let's see, it'll learn rock th or rock throw, fan attack, rock tomb, rock slide, sucker punch, double edge, hammer arm, which is a fighting type move, uh, wood hammer, which is a really powerful recoil grass type move. But it also one of its ability one of its abilities can be rock head, which means it doesn't take any recoil damage. So really nice. So pretty decent rock type move, uh, uh, rock type Pokemon. Uh, the only problem is you know it's not ground type, so it's not weak. It's not actually immune to electricity. And this was one of the times that people realized, hey, rock is not immune to electric. It's ground. Yeah, he's not a bad Pokemon at all. And honestly, this rock throw might hurt. Yeah, that rock throw did hurt. Uh, if you if you defeat this guy without capturing him, uh, you will have a chance to capture him later. Uh, he will respawn after you beat the Elite Four, I do believe. And I'm not sure, but there might also be a couple others that are scattered throughout the scattered throughout the region. Uh, are there more throughout the region? Let me see here. Uh, no, apparently this is the only one. But yeah, if, even if you don't catch him right now, he will show back up later. Uh, ooh, it's nighttime, so Dusk Ball will actually do good against this guy. Also, Dusk Ball is just my favorite Pokeball, so... And there we go. Yes. I'm not going to use the guy, but it's nice to have him. Although, so, although it always pretends to be a tree, its composition appears more similar to rock than to vegetation. You know what? I'm probably not going to use the guy, but uh, I have to give him a name. Because I just thought of the perfect name. Rock tree. Yeah. Kind of like Rock Lee, except, you know, not. I love it. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. Oh, we got berry pots. Hello. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right. I'll give you some berries, too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. So, ran berries. Okay, cool. Petcha berries. You have to plant berries in the soil. You should water them from time to time. Then they'll grow strong. I have to go back to the goldenrod. Are you heading for Equitik? You should go north here. See you around. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, I don't know... I'm not actually sure how that uh, berry pot works. Oh, I guess we just... I guess we just put them in here? Okay. Oh, we need fertilizer. Okay, so you can just grow your berries as you're going. In, in, okay, uh, berries were actually introduced in the third generation games, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, and you had to go, they were located in certain patches that you had to go back to to check on. Um, actually, this isn't too bad. This raises your special attack and it's not too shabby. Well, you got Rock, you got Rockhead, which is really nice because all your recoil moves like Wood Hammer and Double Edge won't hurt you, so not bad. That's a pretty decent pseudo -woodle. But yeah, um, like, let's say, let's say you found, like, a, let's say you found, like, an Oran berry or something, and you would replant it, but then you'd have to come back and check on it, um, after a day or so or whatever, and you'd actually have to go back to the root that it was on in order to keep an eye on it. With these berry pots, that's really nice. You don't have to do that. You can just check on it as you're going around, so that's really nice. I like that. Uh, Studewoodle, what can you learn HM-wise? You can learn Strength and Rock Smash, so not bad. I do want something that will eventually learn Cut and Rock Smash together, and possibly Strength, because that'll be nice for, you know, just freeing up an inventory slot. I'm curious. Will... Actually, I think Sandshrew would actually be good for that, now that I'm thinking about it. 
Yeah, actually Sandshrew would actually be perfect. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put you away. Let's go ahead and deposit Mr. Rock Tree. There we go. And I think we'll be done for the moment after exploring uh, the rest of National Park and a good chunk of Route 36. So off screen, I think I'm going to go look for that uh, sand shrew if I can remember where it's at. Because let's see, it was on... Okay, it's in that cave that we were at earlier. And that cave is actually nearby. So yeah, I'm going to go catch a sand, screen, sand shrew off screen just to have it for HM purposes. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through uh, Route 36 to get to Agri Duke City. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.